welcome. This is not the place I expected to see you after such a long hiatus. However, this is exactly where we are. I just landed in Malé Airport, which is the capital city of the Maldives. Now it has been a little while since you've seen me. Uh, life has been, yeah, a bumpy road the last few months. I'll fill you all in on that later on, but for the minute, I'm here and I'm a little bit lost. I won't lie, I booked this ticket to come to the Maldives a long time ago, and by that I mean yesterday. <laughs> uh, you might know by now after watching this channel that I'm a very casual traveller. Others might call it disorganised and I'll probably dis... Uh, I would probably agree. <laughs> so, I've just arrived. I took a flight from Sri Lanka, where I've actually been for the last three months. I've made zero content from there. Um, I was kind of just taking some time for myself and it was originally meant to be like a holiday for a few weeks and things kind of get out of hand, you know, and three months later, there I am. So I left today and now we're here in the Maldives. Plan on staying here maybe a week, maybe 10 days. We'll see how we go, but it will all be very much dependent on the cost because I've already had some surprises arriving. So to use the ATM in the airport, it cost me $8 straight away. So it was like, I only got like $90 out. And then uh, I need to get a SIM card. Now, bear in mind a SIM card in the Sri Lanka, you're talking like it's just a few dollars. Very, very cheap. Here, a 30 day SIM card, uh, which gave me 20 gigabytes, was $40. Nice boat. Uh, so yeah, I think we're in for a bumpy ride on this trip, but you know, I live by the motto of fuck it. <laughs> you know, you only live once and how can you adhere to that motto if uh, sometimes you don't take a little gamble, you know, and how many times in my life am I going to have the opportunity to come to the Maldives? Who knows, you know, that was my third visit to Sri Lanka. And it's very close, it's just over an hour flight here, so who knows if I'll get this opportunity again. So uh, my flight from Sri Lanka was like £150, wasn't super cheap for a short flight, but yeah, we'll see. I think at the minute I'm going to wing it and I'm going to go to an island that I've heard about. I think this might be us here. This uh, Thordishu is the name of the island that we're going to. Um, so I'll fill you all in on this in a minute. I think this should be costing $25 and should be about half an hour. I actually only found out about this through someone who messaged me on Facebook whilst I was in Colombo Airport. So I really know very little. We're going to figure it out on the way ourselves. This is a uh, river speed? No, river speed is another one. Okay. To the same spot or? Yeah, this is right. Okay, thanks. Yeah, they only come at 4 30. Okay, I'm doing this so that one's not our boat but we're going to the same spot so it's 4 30 like an hour to wait uh so yeah i put a, a message on a group on facebook just asking for some tips and this lady she's an italian lady she messaged me with a bunch of tips and a bunch of recommendations because i had no idea which islands to go to and she's put me in touch with a guy who owns a guest house so it's all kind of like gone very quickly you know but hopefully it's going to turn out to be a nice surprise No roll. Ah. Nice to meet you. <laughs> How's everything good? Yeah, everything good, yeah. So, how long you want to stay here? Uh, I don't know. I, I only found out about this place this afternoon. The uh, yeah. The lady messaged me on Facebook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she told me, and so this is the... I have no idea. I only booked my flight to the Maldives yesterday. And without booking invoice, how did you uh, overcome this immigration? 
Uh, they didn't ask. Yeah, they are not allowing any guests without invites. So I don't even. No, they did not ask me. So when I when I arrived in the airport, uh, they asked me to complete uh, a form on yeah, yeah. online, and it asks you where you stay. Yeah, I so I just put this island and your your guest house, yeah, and that was it. Nothing more. Yeah. I was worried because when I travel, I never have return tickets. Because I don't know how long I stay. Moldavian are not sending back anyone. Yeah. From Europe or America, but the problem is you have to show them one booking invoice. Yeah. So they will be convinced they don't have any other problem with you guys. Okay. They will say that put you on arrival stuff. That's all. Yeah. Yeah, no problem today at all. Lots of development here, yeah? It's actually not development, they are repairing this road. Just for fixing it. Over rain, uh, too much rain. Ah. This place was damaged. When was the rain? Oh my god, five days before also it was closing. And here water was like this. Wow. Yeah. So deep. So yeah, until it was too much rain. So that's why the road was under five feet water. Wow. And, <laughs> Is that normal? Was, it's not normal, it's abnormal. Because when... Um... It's not abnormal, it's rain, not rainy season. It's over two months before. Yeah, because I come from uh, Sri Lanka. Yeah, yeah. And in Sri Lanka in December, it should be no rain. Yeah, but yeah, mu so, so much rain. Ah. Like the rainy season meant to be over. Yeah. But nearly every day, like rain, rain, rain. Unusual day. No? Yeah. We are not expecting this. Episode. Hopefully, it's finished now, yeah. Hopefully, but <laughs> nobody knows what's like, coming next. I come here, I want to swim, but in the beach, not in the road, you know? <laughs> You have to see one of these. We made it. Welcome to our first abode here in the Maldives. Now, this might not necessarily be what you're expecting in terms of typical Maldivian stay. You know, you're probably expecting like the, the little houses on stilts and things like that. And I'm sure we will see them. However, I am a long-term traveler and so we're going to be a little bit more frugal you know we're on a mission here now to see can the average traveler do the Maldives on a relatively affordable budget and I say relatively affordable because it's still the Maldives prime example so we've got quite a simple room here which to me honestly is perfect like you're just here to sleep We've got what feels like a really nice comfy bed, which I'm very happy about because the last few I've had in Sri Lanka have been kind of a bit rough on the old back. We've got very simple, but very nice and clean bathroom. So I'm happy with that. So um, yeah, look, the time here in, in the Maldives, hold on, put this last stand out. So this was very, very spontaneous. Um, my visa for Sri Lanka was finishing tomorrow and so the last few days I've been kind of having a look where can I go where can I travel to maybe I'll extend my Sri Lanka visa um, and the the primary contender at that time was India or Vietnam and just the flights were not working out good because yeah I left it to the last minute <laughs> lesson to be learned there so don't do that um, and then I saw this flight to the Maldives and I thought oh, it wasn't on my agenda, you know, it's the Maldives at the end of the day. But, you know, the flight was okay. Um, and I figured, what the heck, let's do, you know, five days or let's do a week in the Maldives. And let's test ourselves. Let's see if we can do it for a relatively decent budget. The guy who was with me before, uh, his name is Nurul, and he was the contact that I was given today through someone who messaged me on Facebook. I just put like a little uh, post in one of the Maldives groups just to see if anyone had suggestions or whatever. And this nice Italian lady messaged me today, actually. I, in fact, it was actually as I was at Colombo Airport. So you can see what very little prior um, information or plans I've had. She recommended me to come to this island. She gave me his details and here we are. So yeah, let's get cracking. Right, I'm going to take you for a little walk around the local area. 
before it goes dark. You're not too far off the sunset time here and you can hear the, the mosques in the distance. So the Maldives is a primarily Muslim country. So I think that's going to be a regular occurrence. They'll be doing their prayers. Hello. <laughs> nice shots. Uh, they do the prayers five times a day. So we're going to be hearing the calls quite frequently here. Um, it's a very big development. So from what I know, I've just spoken with a guy in the hotel there who's a traveler as well. He's been here for a week. And he says that this is actually one of the most uh, kind of mixed islands where there's, you know, uh, locals and foreigners kind of coexisting, living together. Whereas on a lot of the other islands, you know, some of them might be specifically for foreigners, like with resorts and things. Um, so it looks like there might be some good options on here in terms of eating, uh, activities, excursions. He said that, um, I think probably like many places in the Maldives, the aquatic stuff is very good here, snorkeling, scuba diving, fishing. And it's meant to be very good here as well for surfing. Thank God, I'm a pro. Well, we can see the beach already. Very, very close to the hotel. This place looks nice. Okay, this is pretty. Wow, little spot here. So we do have some other islands pretty close by. And what I was told is that you can do little excursions from the beach. You can hire like a, a ferry or whatever and they'll take you to other places. So that might be an idea for the next few days. I don't know what this was here. Whether that's like a a platform for boats to dock or what or what these were in the water. Either that's been damaged by a storm or it's been removed. I'm not sure. It's a bit of a monstrosity, isn't it? So the, the lad who I was speaking to in the hotel. He says to me, like, here he's kind of budget-friendly by Maldivian standards. Maldivian? Would that be right? Maldivian? Okay. <laughs> if that's right, if it's not, we'll stick with it anyway. So by Maldivian standards, the prices here are actually pretty decent. Um, there are prices for locals and different prices for foreigners, but if you travel enough, you'll know that's quite common in parts of the world. Um, but from what he was saying, you know, you can eat here pretty reasonably and the food is very good. Uh, the excursions on boats and things like that are, are pretty well priced. Um, there you go. And here's an important one, again, like with it being a Muslim country, be careful, you know, with what you're wearing. You know, respect their local culture. And that's one of the reasons well, why I didn't show anything from the speedboat because the boat was full of uh, Muslim ladies who were obviously all covered up and they probably don't want the camera in their face. What's going on here? Look at the colour of that water. Wow. Oh, wow. The light's going down now, so hopefully you can see this properly, but that water is so clear. Oh my gosh. All the fish in the water as well. That's the clearest water I've seen for a very, very long time. Looks like the sunsets might be really, really nice here, but unfortunately from the other side of the island, it's fine. This is just the first night, but 
you can kind of see the, the colour in the sky, it's beautiful. Huh? Ah, uh, what is this? Is fruit or? Sweet? No sweet, savoury. Mm. Very good, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> wow. There's my first sign of Maldivian hospitality. Give me some little snack. And a nice sunset going on. Thank you. That is really tasty. I don't know what's inside of it, but it's quite a mouthful. It's a bit chewy, but very tasty. Mm. This is going to be a nice change, to be honest, because people say the Maldives are kind of boring because there isn't much to do. But that is exactly what I need because the last few months in Sri Lanka have been a little bit too too heavy. I've been going into party mode a little bit more than what I would like. So the Maldives is a, a no alcohol country. You can get in the resorts, um, but generally speaking, alcohol is not permitted. So on islands like this, you won't find it. And I'm quite happy about that. I won't lie. I'll be happy just with my super tasty, delicious snacks. Mm.